Hey everyone, it's Shane at Matrix Personalized Fitness. I'm coming to you from an Airbnb in New York, um, down here for the iPhase training with Z Health. Um, this training with Z Health is all about the inner ear, but it's also about creating better movement patterns, and even more importantly, it's about motivation. Uh, going through the different levels of getting yourself moving and going and into new habits. So with that being said, I was originally going to talk to you about breathing today, giving you some tips on that, but because of this motivational factor of iPhase and the fact that I just wrote a blog yesterday about getting your workouts organized, I thought I'd expand on that a little bit more. So to that point, in the blog, I talked all about how to prepare and organize for your workouts so that you're more likely to do them. Um, at the same time, this is true for not just workouts, but for any habit you're trying to build. The challenge with habits is just that, they're incredibly challenging. They're threatening to your old brain, your subconscious brain, on a number of different levels. The first one is, your old brain is all about patterns, so trying and getting started with new things is really threatening to it. Additionally, it takes a lot of energy and a lot of brain power to try and create these new habits or try to start a new workout and get yourself going. So it's important that you put as many things in place as possible to limit that stress and make the habit change or the new workout as easy as it can possibly be. So from, from the example of the blog that I gave, the first one was have a goal. You have to have a reason for doing it. The change has to be known to you and you have to be excited about making a difference. Now, even if that's been done, it doesn't mean that change is going to be easy. That's a cognitive level function when you're actually aware and trying to drive yourself towards something, but subconsciously that threat can still be there. So then we move on to phase two, which is putting it into the calendar. So when it comes to a workout, you don't wanna give yourself excuses to miss it. When it comes to anything, any other habit you're trying to change, you wanna make sure that your schedule's clear so that there are, other, there are other distractions are not there to pull you away from it. And then finally, I talk about preparing the night before for your workout so that your gym bag's packed and, and you have all the clothes that you need, the equipment that you need. Um, and that way you're again eliminating possible distractions and excuses. The thing that this is doing for your brain is it's also reducing the threat. By planning ahead, having things ready to go, you take out the need to have to think about those things the day of. Again, when you're trying to change these habits and do these new things, if you're having to think about additional levels and layers to make it happen, it's that much more challenging. So, getting organized is gonna help you, can help you in so many different ways in your life. It doesn't have to be on a big level, it can be the little things. Have a reason, plan it, and then prepare for it. And you might be surprised at the things you can create in your life. So that's it for today, that's my tip. Um, hopefully that gives you a little bit of help and insight. It also should let you know that when you're struggling with habit change, it's okay. Don't be afraid to take a step back, start over and try again. Um, so thanks for, visit, thanks for viewing today. I hope you're having a great evening and I'll see you all again next week. Take care.